everybody, and welcome Hi. to Table Talk. This is a show where we get to talk about topics that you submit via hashtag Table Talk or via our Reddit, uh, subreddit, r slash source bed. Yay! Yay! I'm Mick Tony. I'm Trish Hershberger. I'm Lee Newton. Yay! I got a bruise that you're going to be able to see. Oh, wow. Ooh, it's, now, here's it's an arm hickey. Don't lie. Here's Someone was sucking on your arm. <laughs> it's real hot. What did you do? I fell down a bunch of stairs. <laughs> oh, I oh, meant no, to really? make a I meant to, to make a man do crap. that to you. Huh? I meant to make a man do that to you. Oh, too. well, that's just, just talking back. The bath's on my back. <laughs> um, but <laughs> did you really fall down? I did. Like, you I fell down. Down. Oh, I did. I did. <laughs> Bunch of stairs. <laughs> Ten minutes before showtime at the Groundlings. Oh yeah, you told me I that. Was, I ate crap, yeah. and it was funny because everyone heard it and they're like, "What is that?" And then I'm just like, "Ah." <laughs> <laughs> I was okay. Have Don't you ever worry. fallen when you were on stage, like in front oh, of an audience? Hard. I actually did one where I was supposed to. I was supposed to prat fall, and I was supposed to fall on the bed, and the bed slipped, <laughs> and I was like, "Wham!" And I was like, "Keep going!" And I like <laughs> came backstage, and they all were like, "What happened?" And I was like. It's not, it's not a big deal, but my knee was just black. And oh, long. you told us no. that. Yeah. yeah. The show must the go on. The show must on. go on. But I, I was just like, I think the whole audience were like, <gasps> <laughs> like they're just like, oh, God. That's <laughs> dedicated. That happened to me, and this will make you uncomfortable. Oh, I love, no, in the I middle, love this. In the middle of I uh, when I was performing dinner theater, and of course, they always give me a solo, even though I can't <laughs> sing for shit. And I was singing, I Will Survive, by <laughs> myself <laughs> in front of a bunch of people. And uh, my bad ankles, uh, my ankle gave out. Twice and I fell. Fun. Right down in you a red sparkly survive. dress and high heels, trying to be oh, sexy. You but no, right down, and then so I'm like whatever. My character's silly. I improv my way out of it. It's fine. Um, finish my mind. song, and then I come out for my curtain call and fall again because once my ankle goes, it's like really prone to doing it what again. What if people just thought you were really that's what gifted? Saying. She totally. They thought it was There's a callback. Yeah, yeah. It's a callback. It's like a classic. It went better than it you could have imagined. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it was humiliating. But that girl that fell was my favorite. Oh, but, oh look at. And the whole rest of the cast, like backstage, was like, "Oh my God, are you okay?" I was yeah, about that's, like, that's, that's like when yeah, you're like, nobody yeah. saw, and then people were like, "Are you okay?" Yeah, everybody <laughs> saw. Everybody saw. <laughs> All right, fall in the middle of my verse. <laughs> no, my friend Selena had a really great thing that in a bar, like some guy came up and was like, "Did it hurt?" And she was like, "When I help out from heaven, screw you, blah blah." He's like, "No, you wait shit outside. Are you okay?" <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> no, I'm you okay. I'm okay. Thank you. Yeah, she was just like. You pulled a tie in Clueless, and I saw it. <laughs> cool. Oh, I know! That's exactly what I was thinking of. Yeah. All right. <laughs> From Reddit, Jagger Nugget says, How do you guys feel about the new Pokemon game coming out? Have you ever been a fan of the game, or do you plan on getting X or Y? X and Y. Well, I feel like that's going to be a big yeah, journey answer. Question, answer. Uh, I will definitely get it, but none of you Pokemon growing up at all? Because it was still, like, uh, really relevant. For, it wasn't for me, really. For me, and this uh, this makes me sound like such an old fuddy-duddy, but I was like, oh, Pokemon, Magic fuddy the Gathering for kids. fuddy sound like a fuddy-duddy. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> fuddy -duddy was sometimes. On the fuddy -duddy. <laughs> but no, I was like, oh, Pokemon is an oversimplified form of Magic the Gathering. I'd rather just play Magic. But or oh, a yeah. video game, or because it's, like, turn-based. No, on. I did Well, I don't know. I think I... I missed the Pokemon. Nah. Like, I think I barely, and if you barely missed it, then you missed it. Yeah. You know what well, I mean? Well, there, was there ever a Pokemon game for original NES? There was a Pokemon game for um, game, the original Game Boy. Okay, um, yeah, I had original NES, and then that. my parents always said, no more consoles till you beat all your NES games. And if you've ever played Battletoads or Mickey Mouse Cades or any of those NES games that are impossible to happen. beat, that never happens. Hmm. Uh, I, I can't believe you never just them. lied to your parents and said they were all beat. Oh, that's a good point. New. Well, I, yeah, that didn't dawn on me, a. Eh? And then I just Still, went on this crusade. Today it didn't dawn. That, on no, me. I went on this crusade to like every time there was a neighborhood garage sale, I'd go oh, scouting for it. new Nintendo games, oh, yeah. and I'd find like packs of three. Oh, you were that little girl. Uh -huh. You were that precious little girl where it's like, we have to open up the garage sale that we that I was kids. Right, outside right outside with my little change purse. <laughs> How much are your games? They're a quarter? Do you not play this one Just anymore? Take them. <laughs> Ma'am, we're in our living room. Get out. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Those are not <laughs> games. That's our LP collection. We're very in love with it. Yeah, exactly. I already have four of Super Mario 3, but I'll, I'll take a fifth if you have it, it to sell to me. You're a hoarder. <laughs> yep. You yep. guys, uh, no, I have, actually, Lee, you brought in that Game Boy SP. You were like, yeah. I have this thing. Is it a thing? <laughs> That's, uh, Pokemon is on that also. Oh. Uh, like, oh. the you can play the I think, I, I feel like Lee would be big on Pokemon. Yeah, I'm I would be. I, it's right up my alley. Little it's tiny great. Things, it's Cute sweet. little creatures. Be yeah. creatures. Right you fight them. It's awesome. I play I know Blue Squirtle, still. and I actually would have had a big crush on Squirtle. Squirtle, 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 Squirtle. 
Yeah, he's the best. I just hear the name Squirtle and I always think dirty things. Ma'am. <laughs> How dare you? I'm sorry. If I, I had do. my Pokemon onesie right now, my Pikachu onesie, I'd put it on and I would pout at you. Okay. That is also probably a fetish Pika. thing somewhere. <laughs> and we'll put on my face. I will put on my and Pikachu I will onesie. And pout at you. That's a fetish thing somewhere. Someone in Japan is like, yes. <laughs> Please win. Awesome. Tell me. <laughs> uh, origami Paper Cut said, Ooh. if everyone at SourceFed was playing a part in a spy movie, who would they be playing? Hashtag Tabla Talk. Mm -hmm. um, I like it. I want to be. I want to be the computer person that hacks into the security yeah, system. Yeah, I think that would be fair. Mm -hmm. That would be really? very fair. I don't want to be in the be... dangerous area. I just want to take care of it from. Here's the, the thing. External. I would say that, but then that person's always going like, "It's interactive CD-ROM," and they're just like seriously typing. Yeah. So I don't want to be that person in the movie. I'll be the person in real life, but not in the movie. Shisha could pull okay. that up for sure. I'll be that with like the blue talking into everyone's earpiece. You and be like, she'll be like, well, that's off. because of it. N S L O Y K M T B, and we're like American, and she's like. <laughs> And then she'll go into it. That's the camera in the corner with the green one. light, Lee. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, then why did you say that? <laughs> we would be like the comedic distraction. Like would, in yeah, uh, it'd be the getaway. Like in Eraser, where is it Eraser? Or, yeah, it's Eraser, where the guy has the fake heart attack and he's yeah. a distraction. Oh, I, would, I was thinking that. I was like, are you either going to be the getaway or the person that's like, because I want my money back for the paper. Go, go. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's and what I would like. We could to send do. you in the red slinky dress to, yeah, uh, yeah. to distract. Yeah, the getaway girl. Fumbling be... with the gun. <laughs> <laughs> Sir! <laughs> no, I'd be like that girl in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol where she's mm. like supposed to go sleep with the dude to get the secrets and she's like, Tom Cruise, I can't do it. And I Tom can... Cruise is like, You can do it, baby. <laughs> and you're like, Okay. Um, all right, all right. And then she kicks him in the face. Oh, see? Like there we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, Practice no your high kicks. Execute, just high kicks. I would be like, hey, yeah, oh my god, my hip locked up, guys. No. guys That'd be a pretty head. high kick. They're shorter than Ice everybody pack. else. She did. <laughs> hey, up. Yeah. Ow. Man, <laughs> come. Don't kick me in the knee. <laughs> Who would the boys be? Oh, Joe would easily be. He's like, like Mission Impossible. He's like, like Mission Impossible for sure. He's like, down. he is Tom Cruise. I feel like Elliot would be the guy that runs the agency, mm -hmm. right? Like he'd be like, "Well, if you're not gonna do the mission, then why did I bring you in?" He's M. Yeah, he's M for sure. <laughs> he's M for sure. And I feel like Steve would would be on that trail of the like hacking into something with you. But I also feel like he would be the guy that like was I feel his like contact. You know how like they always have like a weird, crazy contact that whenever they're in Bermuda, they call him and it's like, hey, mm. I haven't seen you in a while, jeez. Oh, that's true. Uh, that's totally like be a good like a little... He'd also be a good duo to your distraction. That's what I was going to say. He's a good sidekick yeah. for He might be an excellent stuff. duo to my distraction. Oh, I just pictured him in a fedora. In a fedora. Oh, that's true. Like yeah. a little tropical like, you know, he's you like, know what that made, me, that made me think of in Jurassic Park when he's like getting the Barbasol yes. can? <laughs> And we've He's also got Snedry. <laughs> and Ross and Phil. Don't be cheap. And what, well, Phil would for sure be the evil mastermind. Yeah. Right? Oh. I agree. Oh. Would Phil be like the Nick Fury or like the, he's like the bad guy. He's like the Dr. Claw. He's like the Dr. Claw. <laughs> but I feel like there's like some crazy backstory of like, when I was in school, you wouldn't let me play the kickball. You know? <laughs> he has his little Yorkies. <laughs> He he has, you gotta catch something. You're he's like, yeah. Hello. Yes. and then at the end of the day, he's like, I just found it to play. He's Doctor <laughs> Evil. Like he's just like charmingly befuddled, but I and then uh, I don't know. I think Ross would probably actually maybe judge. maybe Ross is like the paperwork guy. Like he's the one who gives everyone yeah. the fake passports oh, and like, like makes sure everybody. I think Elliot will be a good fake pa paperwork guy, but you know what? Elliot's Ross for sure be... the guy sipping coffee, walking through the hallway. That's like, true. Yep. Mm -hmm. blah, 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 yeah. Blah, blah, blah. No plans to go. I feel uh, like Ross yeah. is the guy that's like really like he's like on board with 007. He's like, hey, I got your mission all planned out, man. Let me just tell you <laughs> what you're gonna do. I feel like he's that, but to Phil's like evil mastermind. Oh, he's like evil. maybe he's like number two in Austin Powers. He might be number, number, number two. Number two. Number two. So it's the rest of us versus Phil and Ross. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a good movie. movie. I'd go again, see it. In the end, it all comes out. I wanted to play kickball. <laughs> I just wanted to play, and we end in a game of kickball. It's right. Good. I don't think. And then we all do the, the fist pump at the end. Like oh, we all yeah. do the breakfast club. Yeah. <laughs> You're still in your dress. Like, in your red dress. I mean, it's got to be a red dress. Yeah, That's what sure. I'm picturing. Okay. <laughs> Um, from Reddit, Frank the Hermit says, "What is the worst advice that you have ever received and followed?" Oh. I don't know. I usually don't tend to follow bad advice. Go to college. No, hey! I'm Honestly, yeah, a little bit. I would a actually, little bit. Not, not. It's not the worst. It's 
No, it's not the worst, but I had a, I had really great advice from someone that was stop college, and that was from a teacher. I had a teacher go like, you should stop this. And I was like, okay, you know. But no, but that was, I would say, not go to college, because I honestly believe in college, and I feel like I should have spent more time in high school, and high school kids spend more time studying. I've said that before. I'll say I it liked again. college. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I enjoyed college. it a lot. College helped me a lot. You loved college. Yeah, I loved you college. Were ha- you're half Ravenclaw. Helpful. What people don't know about Meg Turner is that on the test she's like almost a Ravenclaw, barely Slytherin, Mm -hmm. and she but she's also like significantly Ravenclaw. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's very true. It was very impressive. The worst advice. I don't know. I know, right? I, I really, I'm sure someone's giving me crappy guy advice at one. No, I'm I'm positive. I know what this is. There was a mac and cheese, and then there was a corn dog. Oh. And I went with the mac and cheese because someone was like, this is the best mac and cheese I've ever had. You should have gone corn dog. Bullshit. Oh. And then a friend of Let's mine see, got the corn so dog. See, it's so hard because mac and cheese is so subjective. Yeah. I well, understand. Some people like truffle, and I think like, it's gross. If I can make that, then it's a joke. But it's if true. It's like, you're not you know, making I'm, a corn dog. I'm not making a corn dog. What if you're between home? fried Snickers and fried Oreo? See, that's when you get the real Tough advice choice. coming down to it. Guys, Tough choice. these are hard-hitting things that we talk about. Hard-hitting <laughs> things. I, I would say, you know what, you're right. Bad guy advice. I totally had girlfriends in high school or in college oh, yeah. who were like, oh my God, how long did he wait to text you back? 30 minutes, you got to wait an hour. Like they have like little math. Yeah, yeah. Like everybody that thinks it's figured out. That's the worst shit ever. Just text him back. Don't yeah. play games. games. My phone is Don't in my games. hand right now. Don't play games. Or back when I used to do he pageants. You see that I did it. Oh. They, the uh, pageant consultants made me cut my hair like to this length and blunt cut. And let me just tell you, as a busty lady, you don't cut your hair blunt cut at bust. Measurement you because you look, look like, like a giant a triangle. You look like it was friend, real sure. bad. Oh, like Jane. <laughs> friend, and they did white, it because they were like, well, it's easier to style than updo. And I was like, great, but the rest of my life, it sucks. Yeah. yeah. Oh my no gosh. good. Pageant yeah, consultants sure. don't care about the rest of your life. No, they don't. They, they only do care not. about that weekend. All right. At Lake and Bake 33 <laughs> says, uh, I love you just pageant experience. Weekend. 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 Um, if everyone in the source of that office was an animal, what animal would they be? Chipmunk. Skunk. Pikachu! <laughs> Not a real animal. Real animal, mama. Oh, I'd be a squirrel. Joe's a bear. And then I'd just be like, I'm so cute all the time. Hey, you squirrel? Steve's not a bear? Because you like nuts. Ow! Boom! Yeah! Boom! Nut Tony coming in. Boom! <laughs> That's Star Wipe for sure. <laughs> Boom. Because you like nuts. He's like, I'm not keying out Star Wipes. <laughs> Screw you guys. That um, was Steve. fucking perfect, dude. Can, uh, congratulations to you. If you're, okay, you. if you're giving bear to Joe. Bear Joe. Oh, no. What's cuddly Steve? Z? What is Steve? Oh, Steve, Steve my... Yeah, I, I don't know. Like Steve is a bear. Joe too. is like an elk or a moose. Or like yeah, a oh, yes. panther. Joe is a moose. Joe could be a moose? panther. Joe's a moose, oh, but he still Elliot's has a cuddle like, element to him. Elliot's like that sleek panther. You think he's a panther? Okay. I thought he was gonna I was gonna say giraffe for sure. Actually I was gonna say elephant because they're really smart and he's just kinda like, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> super, super smart. Yep. Ooh, what about like a meerkat? Moving slow. It's on purpose. Oh, meerkat. That's Ooh. Ross for sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 That's for sure, Ross. Very meerkat. excited. Very excited, <laughs> Meerkat. Um, yeah, no, I think so, right? Yeah. Meerkat. And then, no, I would say Beretta might be a moose, but I honestly think moose. there's a cuddle factor to the Joe. Are we obligated to say Phil Monkey? I think we are yeah, obligated I think we to are. say Phil Monkey, but I think if we all know, truthfully, Phil is a Walligator. Oh. Oh. Honestly, remember I'm when he would do walligator eyes? He, in the morning, like, his eyes aren't adjusted, and so he'll do this all the time. And in the beginning of working with him, I'd be like, him looking at me so <laughs> intensely. But it was just him like trying to figure out what was going on. But it was Because it's gator morning eyes. time. Gator eyes. Because it's morning time, Lee. It's morning time. It's morning you might be a times. duck. Who's a, I, who in our office no, would be a Audrey Komodo dragon? Like, Audrey's, Audrey's a, a duck. duck. Well, because James would be a, a James Komodo dragon. Komodo dragon. <laughs> a Komodo dragon for sure. Uh, yeah, uh, Audrey's obligated to be a duck because she has that, um, that horrible. <laughs> 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 Every time her phone rings. Every yeah. time it rings, Steve goes, it's, I'm going to change my ring to I don't even think it's a ring. I think it's a text. No, it's a ring. Is it the ring? It's a ring. that often? I think they got the sound by <laughs> stepping on the duck. It's not even like a natural duck. Well, That's a duck dying. Like, yeah. dying. Okay, so I was out with a group of friends, and someone actually had the wah, wah, wah that went off every time they got a text, and I was like, you chose to do that? You and they said, oh my gosh. no, listen, listen, no, their friend did it to them as a punishment. 
They lost a bet and got the one. Oh, wah, wah, that's amazing. Which made it even funnier that it's Audrey's on purpose. That's though, <laughs> it is. It is much funnier. But that's, remember that video we saw of Russia, that guy throwing the cell phone? Yes. That's when it's okay for you to crawl in someone else's car and, and grab their like, cell phone and just yeah, slam it. Away. You're done. And um, throw. I used to set my text tones differently to like different people. Like you're like, Ooh. oh, you know, like. Oh, yeah, you, I like that. Oh, that's a boyfriend or that's a this or that's a that. And I remember literally like, after a bad breakup, some girl and Ross had some text tone and I was like you have to change that text tone that's my ex-boyfriend's text tone you have to change that wow know, like, all of my text tones are like video game things but I only do different for the boyfriend at the time oh and then, really and at then the it's time. like Tony boyfriend at the time <laughs> whatever looking for gold um, don't stop on silver oh okay I thought that meant like <laughs> I thought that meant like, <laughs> like looking for silver oh, right really good. Like, oh, oh, good. Good. Yeah, I was like that's no, um, but then, don't I know on silver. On the when you get the, <laughs> my mom is so proud of Trisha right now. Um, um, no, but when then when, on the breakup when like you haven't heard it for like two months and they give you the random drunk down and then you hear the song start to play and you're like, no! I yeah. also change the image after. So the oh, image I have, that oh, I have an image. Yeah, um, I if you uh, if you ever get the app Dead Yourself, it makes any p person's face into a zombie face, and that's great to use for exes. So their evil mutilated zombie face comes up every time they try to text or call. So you, you. can't Girls be like, "Those are crazy." Oh, maybe he was so he was. <laughs> maybe he was so. good. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I just remember. <laughs> 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 just like black vomit. Where did that come from? Oh god! It's okay. I was looking at a picture of an ex. <laughs> what if? What if? Okay, if you could take a pill. This is a weird what if. I like. But it. if you could take a pill at the end uh -huh. of a breakup, that any time you thought about going back to that person, you vomited black. I love you it. You take it. You can't do it because that's eternal sunshine ish. Remember, it, like, no, well, you no, remember you them. Remember no. everything. But it's like if you ever go like, well, maybe we were good together. <laughs> it's just I'm like gonna black. be perfectly honest. <laughs> I've often thought about an excellent weight loss thing, and I might actually take that pill and just be like, keep thinking about him. We're gonna get these LVs off. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Yesterday, no, 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 no. Yesterday, no. Trisha was talking about a chili festival, and she was like, that sounds like a butt explosion, and I'm like, a butt explosion's a free workout. <laughs> no, no. She's got a point. Girls are crazy, guys. This has been source. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks so much for joining us at Table Talk. Don't forget to submit your topics at Table Talk or at r slash source that I'm Victoria. <laughs> and please don't projectile things out of either end to lose weight, folks. That's a very true point. Very, we're Not laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing. Sorry. Legitimately. Legitimately. Don't do, don't do that. I feel like we just had a vomit and poop. The more you know. <laughs> Special. <laughs> Trisha's, Trisha's like in a stall, and I'm like, Trisha, you don't have to do it. <laughs> what? Sorry, I just looked at a picture of my ex. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs>